Hi, this is Holly from The Sweet Simple Things, and today we are going to make a fun Christmas treat, a beautiful holiday Christmas brisket with cranberry orange barbecue sauce. While this is primarily a smoker recipe, I do have slow cooker instructions too if you don't have a smoker but want to make this fun treat for your Christmas dinner. We're just using one of the smaller grocery store flat cut briskets. So these are usually three to five pounds and they usually come pre-trimmed. So you don't usually have to do a lot to get this prepped um, for the rub, but check the fat cap, make sure it's only about a quarter inch thick. Rub it with some yellow mustard. This isn't gonna taste like mustard, but it's a good tenderizer for the meat and helps the rub stick. And then um, go ahead and get your rub all over it. Now this does not have sugar in it, it doesn't have coffee in it, um, so we're not going to get that black bark you're used to seeing on briskets, but it's going to be delicious. It's a holiday seasoned rub, so you can get the link to that in the description to see ev all the ingredients and the measurements for that. Insert your meat thermometer into the thick part through the side there. And then once our smoker's all heated up, we're gonna get it right on the grates. I put the fat cap side down on this so that the top gets a nice crust. Now we're going to make our barbecue sauce. So add a cup of cranberries, some orange zest, and um, some juice from the oranges into a pot. And then we are just gonna bring that to a boil over medium and get that reduced down with some honey. Let it boil, stirring frequently, and eventually it's going to reduce down and look kind of like a cranberry sauce. Um, you can kind of see the texture of it there. It does not have to boil down all the way, but we're just getting it ready to add the rest of the barbecue sauce ingredients. So add your apple cider vinegar, tomato paste, ketchup, and then a little bit of salt and pepper and brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon and then some Dijon mustard. Go ahead and stir it all together and let it boil until it reduces down to about the thickness that you like. Once it's the thickness that you like for a barbecue sauce, we are gonna use an immersion blender to just blend up the cranberry skin so it's as smooth as we can get it. Pour this into a jar and stick it in the fridge until the brisket is done and you're ready to serve. Check out the link in the description for the full instructions for the brisket, but when it's all done, you're gonna slice it up and we're gonna plate this with some orange slices and cranberries for garnish, um, but don't forget the sauce. Get your sauce on there as well. This on the cutting board there is my crock pot brisket. That was super good. I've made so many briskets this week, you guys. We are a little bit brisketed out, but it is delicious. This meat is tender, it is juicy, it is so good. Especially, I can't get enough of that barbecue sauce. Seriously, I don't normally like barbecue sauce, but I've decided if it's a cranberry barbecue sauce, it is the bomb. So anyway, I hope you guys like this as much as we do.